Hi, this is uh, Martin again. Uh, this time we're going to look at a little video uh, of how to upload the, a bin file to a TSC50 touchscreen using the touchscreen editor which appears within iCanSoft. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to have installed the drivers for the touchscreen. Uh, best to start this by connecting your computer to the touchscreen using a USB A to B cable. Um, when Windows uh, asks for the drivers, they're located in the normal position uh, at uh, in your program files, your Cooper Controls directory. Go to iCanSoft, and there's a USB directory. Okay, we'll just look at uh, how this appears in the Device Manager. Once you've installed the drivers, now there's two drivers to install. Um, there's one which appears initially here as an EZ board, um, and then there's a second one which is a serial port. Uh, and this here shows us the COM port that's been assigned to the serial port. Now you might have to wait for a Windows to try and find the driver, uh, but you might need to just do the uh, this and do update driver uh, when it appears here. You just have to try this out, it, it does work. Uh, usually Windows might slow it down though. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's load the touchscreen into our file here. If you've already got it in there because you're just updating, uh, then we can proceed, but we'll just demonstrate how to load this in. Now I've already searched the network to actually find it. Here it is here. We just wind this out a bit. See there's my TSC uh, 50. Right hand mouse on there, refresh will fill in a bit more information about it. Don't have to do that. So just double click on here and it will now be appearing in the devices tree. We'll wait for it to fully load. It's done that. Double click click on the touchscreen pages. Notice there's one page already. This one page is just a blue page. It's always there when you first load up a touchscreen. There it is. We don't want that. Okay, so we're going to import the file. Uh, this is the file I'm going to use. This name TSC uh, TS050213 is one which I created on that day. Okay, so we just highlight it and click on open. Now it says, do you want to append the imported setup to the current setup? And we go, no, we, we don't want the blue page. Okay, so now it's imported the 29 pages, the bitmaps, the strings, the fonts, and the sequences. Okay, so the next thing to do is to go to save to device. Now you've already connected your USB A to B cable between your computer and the um, touchscreen. The other thing you need to do with the TSC50 is disconnect the network cable so that uh, messages on the network don't interrupt the upload. So leave the power still connected using the 2 pin connector, disconnect the 5 way blue connector carrying the data and just leave the USB A to B connected to your computer. Okay, so save to device. Okay, now with the TSC50 you will always get this screen. It says the touch screen has not been auto detected. You can attempt to connect manually by choosing a port below. Okay, so if you we remember, let's just bring this our device manager back up again. Here it is. Okay, we're going to be using this COM7. Okay, I know the TSC50 appears down here, but this is this is the number that we're interested in here. Okay, so we drop this down connect COM7 and all we have to do is press go here and the good sign is is that we're getting this erasing sectors and it's going to wander through all of these and then it's going to do this downloading. As I said make sure you've disconnected the data especially if you've got a network which has got traffic on it otherwise you'll find this stops and starts, you get timeouts and whatever. It will eventually get there which is just frustrating waiting for it to actually happen. So we've got to wait for this to go the right way through eventually get to the end and just say uh, touchscreen programmed with the TSC50 you have to disconnect the power 
and wait a couple of seconds and then reconnect it and then your new program will actually you know, like be uh, uh, will appear on the screen reconnect your data and everything should be fine okay well we're almost halfway through now just very quickly going it does depend on the number of pages you've actually got a number of sequences and a number of bitmaps you've actually got as to how long this actually takes we'll just wait for it to finish Uh, you can save this file just within ICANNsoft. Uh, best not to actually do anything with ICANNsoft whilst you're actually waiting to do this. And another tip is if you are creating a touch screen uh, within ICANNsoft using this program, uh, make sure you save it on a regular basis because if it crashes or your computer goes off, you've lost all your work. So just make sure you save it. Okay. Now the other thing we do need to do is just save the file here. Um, we've imported and we've sent it directly to the touchscreen. If we ever want to actually use this file again, and don't forget you can't get the information back from a touchscreen, it's a one-way operation, then make sure you save this file. So just do a file, save or save as, and save the file. Make sure you've got it for the next time. Okay.